Hey, this is Mike, and I wanted to show you a few copy and paste tricks you can use to really speed up your e-learning development time. Uh, one of the things that's pretty common is some of the text in your course may come from a Word document or from website, intranet pages, those sort of things. And I want to kind of show you how you can take control of that and use some paste options and really save yourself some time in reformatting and that sort of thing. So I've got a Word document here. I've got it formatted the way I want. Maybe I've sent it around for review and this has been signed off on and now I'm ready to add this into my course. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy my text here from my Word document. Now back over on my storyline slide, if I just do a regular paste, I don't really have any control over what that formatting is going to look like when it gets there. So I want to point out, instead of doing a regular paste, I've got three different paste options here. The first one, to use the destination theme, I'm going to choose that one. It picks up the, the font and the formatting that I already had established on my slide. What that does is it, it brings in any of the direct character formatting. So if you've got bold, underline, italics, that sort of thing, it's going to keep that, but apply the styling of your slide. If we look at the second option, so I go here, we have the option to keep the source formatting. And if we do that, that's going to keep everything from that original source document. So it's got our fonts, our colors, uh, in addition to bold italics underline stuff. So that's going to keep everything intact. And if you've already spent time getting that text to look just right, you're going to preserve that when it comes over. And if we take a look at the last option here, this is going to bring only the text. So keep text only. And that's going to totally strip out all of the formatting from that original source document and pull it in. And it's going to automatically match our slide formatting that we'd already established. So three different ways to really take control of what happens when you're pulling in text into Storyline from other applications. And that's a really nice uh, big time saver for your projects. And the second really nice copy and paste time saver in Storyline 2 is copying triggers. So I've built a trigger here. Uh, what I want to do is when I click the customer service tab, I want to display the customer service layer. And so I've got that one. I've already spent time building that. And instead of recreating those four more times for the other buttons, what we can do is I'm just going to take and copy that original trigger and go out to my slide. I'm going to click and drag to select those other four tabs. And then I'm just going to paste that trigger. And since those other tabs were selected, that same trigger is going to get applied. So it's a similar trigger for all five. Now I can really quickly jump into my triggers panel. So my customer service is pointing to the customer service tab want my market tab to point to the market layer, my sales tab to point to the sales layer, and so forth. It's got one more to go. Communications tab, I want that to display the communications layer. So you can see there, in a matter of just a few seconds, we've taken an existing trigger, applied it to other objects, made a quick change, and got that entire slide built super, super fast. And one more great copy paste trick, which is new to Storyline 2, is the ability to copy slide layers. So I can do that within a slide. We've got copy and paste here. So let's say uh, I've got my text here the way I want it, and I want to make use of that maybe somewhere else in my course. So I can duplicate that right here on the same slide. Or if I want to make use of that somewhere else, I can copy that layer. We jump to another slide and then we can paste that layer right to another slide and like I said yet one more way that you can really save some time using those copy and paste tricks. So give some of those a try see what works for you and see how fast you can get things done using those copy and paste tricks in Storyline 2.